tour trying with us. Tour, how are you enjoying fight week so far? Yeah, doing all right. I have, have a little bit of weight to cut, but it's it's all right. It, it's not like a, it's what I'm used to do, so it's it's no problem. I think this is the first time that we've had guys from the Ultimate Fighter compete in the UFC before the show's finale. Is that? Did you expect this to happen? Or did it excite you? Yeah, I'm really excited being here and fighting in, in, in front of the whole home crowd. So it's gonna be fun. Uh, I didn't know I w it was like the first time, but but that, that's cool if it's like that. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. So don't sure. don't quote me on it. And you're fighting Adam Seller, who's also from the show. What are your thoughts on him and how the fight will go with him? Uh, I haven't seen a lot of him because it, it's not so much video out of him. But but I'm seen on the show. I know him. I know the guy. He's, he's a nice guy. But when we're there in the cage, it's 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 100 war. We we're both gonna go out there and trying to not get each other out. That's that's the plan. We're talking to Luke Barnett. He feels that out of everyone on the show from both teams, you are by far the best fighter in the house. But what do you make of a comment like that? And what's it like training with Luke? I mean, that's that's flattering for him to say that. I uh, I think it's I'm one of the better, of course. But but I think Luke is also one of the like up and coming, and he doesn't have that many fights. But he's he's uh, coming up there, and he's he's a really talented guy, and training hard, and, and always working on progressing. So it's a uh, uh, I think he's going to be a really good fighter and, and a really a, a fighter to, to count on in a few years. Have you been watching much of the the season Tough 17 on t on TV? Yeah, I've seen most of the of the of the episodes, so I'm I'm yeah I know about it. What do you make of the way they've kind of changed things about to make it more appealing to some fans who weren't liking the Ultimate Fighter the way it was going until now? Sorry, can't think again. Have you noticed how they've changed the format of the show to make it more appealing to viewers who didn't necessarily enjoy the last couple of seasons up until now? Yeah, I, I like the new way of uh, how they have produced this season. I think it's more uh, they focus more on the athletes and, and the, the struggles they go through and, and the and the history behind the guys and, and it's more like kind of like a feeling of real people in a, in a real environment because being in the house with with 14 guys just trying against the same goal it's it's that is story enough you don't need the you don't need a, the the jerks being there too it's i think this is more uh, uh, how it is and i th and i like the the way of it of course the swedish mma commission pulled alexander gustafsson out of the main event sadly what are your thoughts on that i mean it's, it's really disappointing i i i trained with alexander a lot here and then late week uh, the the week before here and it was really in, in a really really good shape for this fight and he was really uh, anxious getting in here and uh, anxious that's the wrong word I think can we take it over eager, eager. eager yeah uh, yeah I think he was really eager to get in here and and perform and he it's it's really sad that he got pulled out uh, I think it I think it would be okay for him to to fight anyway uh, I don't really understand the the decision but but decision is made and and hopefully he gets a fight soon instead the Swedish MMA Federation seem very strict and on top of things paying attention to every detail. Do you think this is good for the sport and helping things progress in Sweden? Yeah, I mean, it's good that they are really careful and they have uh, always the, the security first. So, so that's, a, that's, a, that's a good thing. But um, yeah, that's the job. So they did the job. It's, it's nothing to say about it, but I'm still disappointed that it got pulled out. We've only just got Safe MMA ourselves in Britain who do a similar job to the Swedish MMA Federation, so I think we could learn a lot of lessons from how the Swedish MMA Federation do things. Yeah, they are. I think they are uh, in the in the how do you say? Uh, really, a, s a step ahead of a lot of other. Yeah, in Europe, I think they're really far far ahead. So I think they're doing a good job, but. But but uh, I hope the the, diff the the other countries are following and doing the same thing. And how rapidly are you see an MMA progress throughout the gyms and to fans in Sweden? Uh, you can see it pretty quick. It, it's it's a uh, since the first UFC here last year, it's it's been uh, happening a lot of stuff, and it it feels like uh, people are more uh, aware of MMA in Sweden. It's it's starting to, to be a big sport, and especially like big stars as Alexander Gustafsson, people starting to know him and, and it's starting to get big. Thanks a lot and best of luck. This is MMA Plus at USC on Fuel TV 9.